And we've got someone in the studio now who might have an answer. Claudia Kempfert of the German Institute for Economic Research, the DIW in Berlin. It's good to have you with us. Hello. So let me pass on this question. For how much longer do you think will the price of oil continue to head south? It is very difficult to say because it's primarily expectations who drive the price ex at the moment. Because uh, at the, from the fundamental market data we see we have an oversupply of oil and also um, a declining demand. But that's not new. We know this since uh, many months. But right now the expectations of speculation drives the price. So it's very difficult to say whether it will go down again or will up go up, which would also be a, um, a, an opportunity. Yeah, but it, what seems to be really surprising is that uh, oil-producing countries like Saudi Arabia, for example, so far haven't throttled production. Because that, of course, w would be a tool to boost the price of oil again. Yeah, but they will not do it because it's a geopolitical quarrel here between Saudi Arabia, between OPEC and the USA. Because the USA produces a lot of oil at the moment with fracking, mm. unconventional oil. And this needs a price of oil which is above 80 or 90 dollar per barrel. And right now the price goes down and the OPEC countries hope that the USA will decline their production. So I don't think that the OPEC will react at the moment. Well, stay, let's, let's stay in the United States for a while and fracking because it's, it's not that unproblematic really. A lot of uh, the companies involved in fracking are deep in the red and now in addition the price of oil is falling and some experts already warned that this could trigger a new credit crunch. Yeah, we will see what will happen. But what is true is uh, that they need a higher oil price than we see at the moment. So it might happen that the oil production will go down in the US and some uh, companies, of course, will also collapse. But uh, we will see what's happening on the other world uh, and the OPEC countries, what they will do, how much they will produce, because this uh, depends also on what's happening in the USA. Now, for how much longer do you think the OPEC countries can cope financially, economically, with falling oil prices? It depends on the OPEC country you look at. Venezuela, for example, needs a higher price right now, Russia as well. But Saudi Arabia can, can cope uh, for a longer time. So they are quite different in, in OPEC and we will see how they will react and uh, what will happen in the future. Now, consumers, of course, uh, are thrilled about uh, cheap oil, um, but uh, environmentally, both fracking and, of course, the use of oil is not exactly helpful to fight climate change. So, yeah, we need a higher oil price for fighting climate change, of course, but we will need also other policies like energy saving away from fossil fuels, renewable energy and all this. And Europe and China and also a little bit of the USA are going this way. So the climate policy is one question, but the oil now is another one. What we know is that oil is endless and we need uh, we need um, more. Uh, I mean, we need alternatives and that's what we what we have to go. But that's also interesting. You say we know that oil, fossil fuels, uh, aren't endless. Yes. And yet the price keeps falling. Normally yeah. that's not the case. No, especially if we see this geopolitical difficulties yeah. in the world. So you see that this is the oil price is driven now by expectations, by uh, speculation. This is not fundamental market data which drives the price primarily at the moment. But we will see and what, what the market actors expect. And this is why we can't ex uh, now really see whether the price will go up and go down. So, bottom line, in one sentence, the cheap price of oil, the low price of oil, good or bad for the economy? Well, it depends on where you look at, uh, because uh, for some industrial nations it's good because uh, it helps the economy. For others who export oil, it's bad because they need higher income. All right. Two sides to the coin, as usual. Claudia Kempfer, thank you very much. Thank you.